So my name is Yuganesh Kunalin. Um, I'm from Malaysia. I graduated from the University of Central Missouri last May with my bachelor's in aviation management with emphasis in airport management and a minor in business administration. I started at Missouri State University last fall, August of 2019. Um, I started doing my MBA uh, with a graduate certificate in management and I'm, I currently added, I recently added uh, project management to my plan of studies. So I'm doing double masters with one graduate certificate. Um, I work as a graduate assistant for the International Programs Office. Um, I work mainly uh, with recruitment for Southeast Asia, uh, specifying in Malaysia, and then I do a lot of um, ad hoc projects with International Leadership and Training Center. Well, I come from a, a city in Malaysia. When you come to Missouri State, you although it's a bigger campus and the population is more, uh, but you still feel that um, the sense of community, I mean, you're not lost. Uh, you still see people you know everywhere. Uh, you meet people every time you walk into class or, uh, or you know, anywhere on campus. Um, you feel the sense of belonging, to, even though this university is bigger. Uh, my brother uh, is a sophomore at Drury University. He is studying architecture. Uh, my sister just started at Missouri State University. She's doing speech pathology. She's a freshman, and I, and I do have a cousin brother who uh, goes to Missouri State as well, and he just started as well, mechanical engineering. It's see, I I have I'm I'm generally a motivated person. Um, my motivation is to make a name for myself and to make my family proud. That's something I wake up to every day when I wake up. I do I will do something to build myself up and to make my parents proud because they sacrificed a lot for me. I won the Charno Award. This award has been established since 1940. Um, it's given to two uh, graduating seniors, a male and a female. And so it's a, a process of vetting and interviews and you get shortlisted and one male and female gets chosen and I was the male uh, Charno Award winner for that year. Um, I'm also the Who's Who award winner um, as well, so it comes along with both awards comes along as one. Um, so, and I'm the first student, first international student to win the award from since and ever since 1940. Probably one of the best moments of my life. And and my ultimate goal in life is to motivate people to be a better person. And that not only helped my family members up, but people in my community, the Indian community, saw my achievement as a, as a great milestone, I think, for the community itself. And everyone said they wanted to be like me. I think that's one of the better, one of the best parts of winning that award was to inspire the young minds, to know that, you know, no matter who you are, I'm dyslexic, I have dyslexia. And being a dyslexic kid to achieving one of the highest honor in the university is a big, big achievement, it's a proud moment for me and I know now that I've instilled that in young minds, knowing that they could do anything they put their mind to. Missouri State University offers a cost-effective means to achieve your dreams. Um, from anyone, from all, people from all walks of life could come to Missouri State University and attain their, their um, first college experience um, just because it's affordable. Everyone could afford it, and you get quality education. That's the best part of it. This is what I did. Step out of your comfort zone. Learn to explore new things. It is easier, and it's more, you know, you don't have to struggle too much if you stay within your own countrymen and your clan and not get out. But once you start getting out and learning, learn the culture. You did not travel halfway across the world, hours in flight, just to come here and stay inside your room and not do anything because you're not gaining. Education alone is not that it's not what that makes a person. The experience, your adventures, your cultural exchange with Americans makes your experience here a thousand times better. We call it the bear nation for, for a reason. We are all citizens of this nation and and that's the that's the best thing about it. Proud to be a bear, and always will be a bear.